स्टॉक एक्सचेंज आर्किटेक्चर a stock exchange is where stocks are bought and sold however this is done via the stock brokers as an end user you place your order with a stock broker which in turn sends the order to a stock exchange to fulfill the order therefore typical stock exchange will have a large number of stock broker applications interacting with it examples of stock brokers are robin hood first trade zerodha and so on new york stock exchange and bombay stock exchange are examples of stock exchanges end users interact with a stock broker to trade and not with a stock exchange a stock broker application would typically send requests to create buy or sell orders request for stock price updates etc and it would receive asynchronous messages from stock exchange with order status and stock price changes it is important to understand that here we are designing a stock exchange application and not a stock broker application now let us summarize the requirements the stock exchange application should facilitate buying and selling of stocks it should send order status and stock price updates to its clients that is the broker applications among the non functional requirements it should be highly available scalable and function with low latency Before we move forward let us understand various ways in which stock broker application can interact with stock exchange application all outgoing requests from stock broker application to stock exchange application could be over https and all asynchronous messages from stock exchange application to stock broker application could be over web sockets web sockets is an asynchronous two way real time communication protocol alternately you could have stock broker application communicate with stock exchange application or web sockets for both sending and receiving messages this is an example of an incoming json message for a buy order a sell order message will be similar where type will be sell id is a unique order id for that order broker id is a identifier for the broker who is sending this message stock has the stock name for the transaction while quantity is the number of shares to transact and price is the max price customer is willing to pay for the stocks in case of a buy order and price would be minimum price at which a customer is willing to sell the stocks in case of a sell order so what does a stock exchange application look like technically Here's a stock exchange application architecture. We are using AWS services here. Depending on your hosting environment or cloud provider, you could replace them with any other suitable services. We will be discussing each of the components here and how they interact with one another. Let's start with the gateway. API gateway is the entry point into the application. Broker applications send requests to and receive updates from the gateway. API gateway invokes the router service upon receiving an incoming message the router service is simply a containerized application that examines the incoming message and saves the message in dynamo db database and then places it in one of the queues we use the amazon sps service for our queues every stock has two queues a buy queue and a sell queue incoming orders are placed accordingly in these queues So if a buy order for Amazon stock is received it goes to the Amazon buy queue while a sell order for Amazon stock would be placed in the Amazon sell queue Once the orders are in queues matching engine comes into play it is implemented as a containerized application orchestrated by Amazon EKS it is responsible for fulfilling orders by matching buy orders with sell orders for example it picks up buy orders from amazon stock buy queue and tries to match it against sell orders from amazon stock sell queue the result of the matching exercise is placed in amazon sns which is a published subscribe messaging service match orders information is placed in the sns match topic orders that fail to match are placed in no match topic and any orders that must be discarded for other reasons like they are expired or have bad input etc are put in the other topic let us take a closer look 
at matching algorithm. Many matching algorithms exist. Here we discuss a simple use case. Assume that there is a buy order for Amazon stock for quantity 2 and price 100 and there are two sell orders available for Amazon stock, one for quantity 2, price 100 and another for quantity 1 and price 100. Algorithm here can easily match the buy order with the first sell order that meets the buy sell criteria. Here's another use case where the buy order is for quantity 2 while the first available sell order has quantity 20 for the same price. In this case, buy order can be fulfilled completely while sell order is partially fulfilled with two stocks being sold and 18 pending. Another use case. Here, buy order of quantity 5 is fulfilled from two separate sell orders of quantity 2 and 3. Note that the sell order 9008 is available at a lower price and that works since it meets the criteria of buying at a max price of 100. Now, here's another example where buy order cannot be fulfilled from available sell orders as the sale price of the orders is higher than the buy order price. In this case, all these orders will have to wait for a match. Let's see what happens once processed orders land in SNS topics. Orders from no match topic are picked up again by lambda functions and placed back in the respective buy and sell queues for next round of processing. Appropriate message delivery delays can be added to messages if needed. Also, custom headers can be added to messages at any stage of processing workflow. For example, processing count. Orders from the match topic are picked up by a Lambda function and their status is updated in the DynamoDB database. Information from matched orders is picked up by another Lambda function and fed to stock pricing engine. Stock prices change based on price and volume of stocks being traded. Stock pricing engine is responsible for calculating the new price of stocks. Updated stock price is sent to client update service. In addition, order status is picked up from the Amazon SNS match topic and sent to client update service. The client update service, which is a containerized application, is responsible for sending all messages to the stock broker applications asynchronously over WebSockets via API Gateway. These messages are stock price change alerts and order status updates. For this to work, it must know the WebSocket connection ID for the stock broker application. This connection ID is created when the stock broker application initiates WebSocket connection for the first time. Our application could save this connection ID against the stock broker name in a cache or DynamoDB database. Our orders database is DynamoDB, which is a high performance NoSQL database. It always has the current state of the order. All changes to DynamoDB tables can be streamed into Kinesis data stream from where it can be sent to Kinesis Firehose to save data in S3 data lake for further data analytics. Kinesis data stream can also be fed to a financial accounting system which will therefore have access to all transactions. With this, we come to the end of our discussion on stock exchange application architecture. This should give you a good idea of how such an application can be created.